Courageous Doctors, is a newscast about healthcare topics of concern to everyone. From health and safety tips, to recall notices and medical news. Here's your host, Dr. Barry Prystowski. Hello, and welcome again to Courageous Doctors, the new show for you and your doctor. As always, uh, we go we cover different uh, COVID updates, and we cover Obamacare, government regs, um, general um, health updates, and even health and safety tips. So let's begin. Starting with COVID, the Washington Post uh, tells us that, uh, as you all know from the news, we're now boosting with the COVID shots for Pfizer and, I believe, Moderna um, for 65 and older and uh, essential workers and those who are immune suppressed. Um, we have started, I've been doing in my office, the Pfizer for the 12, uh, 12 and over for the teenagers. Um, Moderna has not approved that yet. They're still looking for the reactions with the myocarditis. They think it might get approval in March, but both Moderna and Pfizer are approved for boosters for um, the first group I mentioned. It's just only Pfizer's being used in the office for the teenagers, and we're expecting fairly soon uh, to get our shots for the 5- to 11-year-olds we put in for them, and they're going to be at one-third the dose, and um, but basically follow the same thing, one shot follow three weeks later. Uh, as far as I know, no other companies have been approved for the 5- to 11, just Pfizer. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, yeah, the Star Ledger. Um, reported that on Merck having a, uh, giving us a monoclonal antibody pill, which is good. Because right now, as you know, uh, I frequently refer people down to the emergency room to get the injection, get the infusion. It goes over an hour or so where you infuse the antibodies to bind to receptors to prevent the uh, COVID virus from infecting into the uh, receptors. But now Merck's come out with a pill that you can actually take, so that's really outstanding. Uh, Helio uh, reminds us that uh, vaccinated pregnant women were followed and showed that they actually, while in pregnancy, had gave antibodies to their babies. That's awesome. Um, and uh, this next thing, CNN is a little disturbing, but, you know, a lot of us that had COVID, myself included, uh, will certainly attest to this. And... Um, that's that um, brain fog where your mind just doesn't work well. Mount Sinai did a study. This even in mild cases, uh, you know, where you didn't have to go to the hospital like I had. I guess you'd call it a mild case, although I was weak for nine months, um, and it was just hard to concentrate. It was terrible. Well, let's see, Washington Post. Um, oh yeah, th- this is no good. But what are you going to do? The insurance companies, remember in the beginning of the epidemic, insurance covered everything because the government was paying for everything, so insurance was getting freebies. So, But now the insurance company, I guess the government's not paying for it anymore. The insurance company is saying you're now not off the hook for co-pays and deductibles for all your COVID-related care. So that that's really no good, but what are you going to do? And, uh, oh, this is nice. I'll, I'll end the COVID part with this one piece. CNN. Uh, mentions their Nobel Prize uh, for, you know, the mRNA uh, vaccine, the, the the research that went into it uh, that was used to produce the vaccines that we're using for COVID. Dr. Drew Weissman and uh, Dr. Caitlin Carrico from UPenn uh, got the uh, Nobel Prize for that. All right. Uh, let's, uh, there's only one uh, thing to discuss on Obamacare, but it's really big now. As you know, the big thing now, um, and uh, or a, at least probably until Thanksgiving, is the the Democrats are trying to put through President Biden's uh, uh, immense uh, package, um, which includes not only infrastructure but also healthcare related things. And uh, I just wanted to point out some of the healthcare proposals. The Star Ledger went over this. Um, if uh, if Biden gets this through, and the Republicans allow the Democrats to pass it. Uh, we will have uh, increased Medicare. We'll cover dental, vision, and hearing aids. Uh, I'm Medicare now. I'm 67, and um, I have the straight Medicare with United Healthcare package, but I still don't have dental, vision, or hearing aids. I have to pay for all that out of my pocket. 
Uh, it will work on – Biden has uh, plans to work on decreasing drug prices to increase long-term care payments, uh, which is good. Um, uh, a lot of us have private payment for long-term care insurance. That's really the way to go because if you can have an aide or nurse come to your home and care for you, it's really much better. Uh, permanent chip, this is something that the Medical Society of New Jersey uh, is releasing a resolution um, uh, to support this, that, you know, CHIP is the uh, part of the insurance program uh, tied to Medicaid uh, all, all across the country. It stands for Children's Health Insurance, and a lot of kids are on this. I have a lot of patients on CHIP and Medicaid. It, CHIP's sort of an extension of Medicaid, and it, it has to be renewed and, re, and voted on again so many years in Congress. And we're trying to get that made permanent, and Biden's got that in his plan. Uh, Biden has plans to boost subsidies so uh, you don't have to pay as much for Obamacare. And this is very interesting. We've reported on this in the past, postpartum care for a year for Medicaid patients where they're actually going in the house and help you take care of your baby. All right. Excellent. Let's uh, move on now to other health care news. As always, I'd like to begin with the recalls. Now, remember, um, I always uh, I always have um, – like to say at, at, at the beginning a disclaimer that what I'm telling you could have happened in the past already by the time I'm reporting it. So it's just heads up to go into your stores. Just simply ask, uh, is this something that's already recalled or, or do I still need to worry about it? So I always put that disclaimer uh, because I don't want to stop you from getting these things if they're no longer on the shelf. Okay, Fox uh, reports velvet ice cream. Uh, it's the nutty flavor, respiratory fudge, head problems, and Little Debbie Mini Nutty Buddy Cookie Bite Sandwiches. Uh, so something was wrong with that to check on it. Uh, Fox reports that there's Listeria, a very dangerous bacteria found in kale. A lot of us love to eat kale. And it was in Baker's Farm, and it was in the stores Kruger and Southeastern Grocers. So, again, it may not, no longer be a problem. Just ask. Fox reports that cilantro and lime in the condiment cups, cilantro and lime, we all eat that, you know, in restaurants on those little condiment cups, is infected with salmonella. And they also reported that Nestle's frozen DiGiorno pizza, but that's not infected. That just forgot the label for soy. So if you have soy allergies, uh, Nestle's pulled back their DiGiorno pizza to relabel it with soy. But um but the cilantro lime condiment cups did have salmonella. Okay, uh, Fox reports that Colorado Seafood Company and Northeastern Seafood Products in Denver, uh, their fish have salmonella, their frozen fish. It's sent all over the country, has salmonella. Again, just double check. And uh, again from Fox, Costco's has clam chowder. It's not infected. They found plastic in it. USDA is reporting, uh, you know, that's your United States uh, service that looks at these things. Listeria was also found in pork, and it was found in Frozen Nick's Famous Barbecue and Hickory Smoked Pork. So it has Listeria. That pork's infected. Uh, Fox and Food Network both reported on salmonella and onions, uh, and they're in uh, a company called ProSource Chihuahua from Mexico. Uh, and Hello Fresh. Uh, it's been poisoning onions in 37 states. 652 people are sick, 129 in the hospital. Nobody's died yet. So uh, watch out with your onions. Uh, we all buy onions. Just make sure they're not the ones recalled. Again, that's ProSource, Chihuahua from Mexico, and Hello Fresh. Uh, let's see. Um, Walnut baby rice cereal uh, has arsenic. Remember, the baby rice cereals are all grown in fields with arsenic, and so a lot of us as pediatricians are trying, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, trying to go more, you know, with barley and oats and less with rice, even though technically those levels are, are not going to kill a baby. Uh, you don't want to poison your baby with arsenic if you don't have to. Uh, so that's baby rice cereal, pulled its cereal because of arsenic. And Maple Island Parents Choice Rice Baby Cereal. Okay. Uh, one last one from Fox. Uh, this is hypertension meds. A lot of us are on meds for blood pressure. 
This is a ACE receptor inhibitor, uh, uh, Erbisartan, and also the uh, diuretic hydrochlorothiazide had the uh, cancer-causing chemical in nitros uh, mixed in with it. Uh, Ibisartan hydrochlorothiazide, just ask your pharmacist if your drugs are one of those recalled. All right, let's uh, move on. Uh, uh, we're done with recalls. Let's move on. MedPage said that um, it's now, uh, the government says we should look to screen for chlamydia and gonorrhea in all sexually active women that are 24 and younger, 24 and younger, including teenagers. And we do that in pediatrics. I ask all my teenagers, if they're sexually active, they get a urine test for chlamydia and gonorrhea. And older than 24, only if they're at risk. So every teenager up to 24 years old that's having sex, they got to get a urine for chlamydia and gonorrhea, even if they don't have it. And older women who are at, at risky sexual behavior, they should be tested. Uh, Star Ledger said that uh, we have scary things. We have Legionnaire's disease again. This was five cases found in Hamilton, and unfortunately, one person died. Uh, in New York City, has a lot of it too. Legionnaire is very scary, as you know. It's a it's a it's a germ that travels through um, ventilation systems in buildings and in water systems. We had it a couple of years ago, uh, even where I live in Jersey, uh, in some of the public health and and uh, capital office buildings and things. Um, it's just um, it's hard to get rid of. It, the germ gets in there and it has to be cleaned out, and then it's very scary. It causes basically uh, pneumonia and difficulty breathing and death. So uh, anyway, uh, CNN says that uh, a scientific international scientific panel, this is very interesting, mentions that uh, maybe we shouldn't give Tylenol in pregnancy and that uh, that's uh, acetaminophen and paracetamol. Paracetamol is more over in Europe. Um, I, I didn't know that. And I don't know if this is, I don't think this is an accepted standard. It's just an advisement by a very, uh, well-known uh, international scientific community that's saying maybe pregnant women shouldn't take Tylenol. I don't know. I'm not an obstetrician. You may want to talk to your OB. I don't think it's an advisement yet official, but it is something to keep on the radar. Um, let's see. Uh, Fox says, uh, oh, yeah, uh, this is scary. Also, New York City has a leptospirosis outbreak. Leptospirosis is a uh, disease caused by rat urine. So it, if the rat, you know, urine gets or, or secretions get anywhere and, and, you know, New York's full of rats uh, and you touch that and eat it, you get extremely ill. It's it's a horrible disease, crushing your bones, liver, kidney, can't breathe, you can die. It's just horrible. It's like the worst flu you've ever had. And uh, Washington Post um, is uh, it talks about the fact that U.S. Preventive Services Task Force says that a lot of us that have for decades been taking aspirin as we get older, we may not need to take that anymore. Again, just ask your doctor about that. Uh, let's see, moving on. Uh, stat, stat, oh, yeah, this is great. Uh, the malaria vaccine, I've mentioned this in the past. The World Health Organization has actually launched it to over 800,000 children in Africa, which is awesome. Now, remember, um, it, it doesn't immediately eliminate all the malaria. It, it just decreases severe disease by 40%. Uh, it decreases all disease by 40%. That's about half. And one-third for serious illness. And because in 2019, 400,000 people died of malaria, and, and, and uh, 279,000 were children. So uh, 800,000 children have this. We finally have a malaria vaccine. Hallelujah. That's awesome. Uh, just a couple more things on general health care news. Uh, health day. Uh, this is interesting. One out of four of us as adults has arthritis, according to the CDC. I certainly do. I have gout. It's no fun. Um, and the CDC uh, reminds us of the encephalitis in 2019. Uh, West Nile, you know, we're still a spraying for these. Uh, they, they advise us don't have water sitting around your yard where mosquitoes can grow. Uh, the West Nile virus, uh, it causes very severe encephalitis. 90% of the people are extremely severe in the hospital and 10% will die. And then this is what we're scared of every year. That's why we spray for it. 
Uh, Lacrosse is another virus. Jamestown Canyon is another one. Powassan and Eastern Equine Encephalitis. Uh, and as you remember, last year there was actually a warning. My 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 um, my son and and his uh, his wife uh, uh, Jeff and Lenny uh, uh, they they live with my two grandkids in Rhode Island. And th- there was a warning last year, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, not to go out at night because people were dying from Eastern Equine Encephalitis. All right, uh, let's move on to our last uh, section, uh, general health and safety tips. And I'll begin with Fox News. Uh, we're having so much trouble still with these hand sanitizers. Uh, remember uh, last year we reported that there was hundreds of them from Mexico mainly that had switched um, uh, methyl alcohol for the ethyl alcohol in these hand sanitizers, and methyl alcohol is poisonous and can kill you, even right through your hands into your skin. You can die and get kidney disease, liver, etc. Uh, now they're mentioning that the uh, the benzene, which is an organic chemical used in industrial chemistry, those of us uh, that took chemistry in college know benzene is a, a very common organic chemical, and it's in these scent-free sprays. And it's being pulled off from Art Naturals Gardena, Art Naturals Gardena. So just check, uh, you know, your, make sure your, your hand sanitizers. We were checking to make sure it doesn't have methyl alcohol, make sure it doesn't have benzene. Um, oh, this is very scary. Washington Post, Walmart, there's a spray from Walmart, uh, that's infected with Burkholderia. Burkholderia is a, very, very strong germ. It's it's not that common. It's rare. But Lord knows how it got in this spray. And it's called Better Homes and Gardens Lavender and Chamomile Essential Oils. So just make sure your your spray was not recalled either for benzene or methyl alcohol or Burkholderia. Uh, last year we reported that in the mouthwash there was Burkholderia and some mouthwashes that were recalled. And now somehow it got in sprays. It's a very, very bad bacteria. It can destroy the inside of your body, just the worst flu you've ever had, major organ damage, horrible, horrible illness. And most of us as doctors don't even think about it. But, um, you know, if somebody's terribly ill and has to go to the hospital, it's one of the things they look for. Don't go away. There's more courageous doctors after these messages. Hi, I'm Ingrid Burke. And I'm Gina Unger. Gina has known Dr. Barry in a professional and personal capacity for many years and we are thrilled to be in his building. We are psychotherapists and we offer mental health counseling for ages 12 and up. We do individual, couples, and family counseling. We're also excited to say that we have groups that we have for teenage boys and girls for social skills, anger management, and self-esteem building. If you need to reach us, check us out at lifeworksnj.com. Our phone numbers are also listed on that website if you'd like to contact us. Thank you. Thank you. Waxed In is a full body unisex studio. We specialize in hard wax, which is gentler on the skin. We do all types of waxing from head to toe. You can come in with your friends, so you have the the moral support. We have hors d'oeuvres. You do have to have a minimum of eight people for that party, and you would schedule that. Everybody's looking for a hand to hold and then someone to share the experience with, so you can look that up on our website. We have prenatal waxing. We take a little bit more time with the new moms, and uh, a lot of people will schedule that once they hit their second trimester. We do have a waxing membership. It's set up just like a gym membership, and you come in just like you would go to the gym. It comes out automatically, and you just show up for your wax. We have several memberships for different services. We also have wax packages. The phone number is 973-542-8442. The website is www.thewaxden.com. We have 24-hour online booking. Come to the Wax Den. We wax it all. Courageous Doctors continues with Dr. Barry Price Tosky. Uh, let's see. Uh, CNN said that, uh, you know, plastics in general, we've reported on this over the years many times. They have the phthalates. Um, and again, we're trying to reduce the plastic uh, in the office. Uh, my partner has all of us doing it just to try to save the environment and the animals. But even for us personally, uh, the less exposure, the better. Plastics in everything. It's in, you know, glass and uh, our uh, 
I'm sorry, it's in uh, our containers, uh, uh, it's in our clothing, it's in everything we use, it's in all our consumer products, hair, cosmetic products, you know, everything is made with plastics. And, uh, but there's a few tips that, that, that I thought CNN brought out really nicely, uh, from their consumer advocates. They said, first of all, don't put plastic in the microwave or dishwasher because it, 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 it takes the phthalates, uh, and mixes it into, uh, our food and things. Uh, use unscented lotions as much as possible, unscented detergents or cleaning products. They're, less likely apparently if they're unscented to take the plastic, uh, melt the plastic. If, if you can, don't use plastic. Use glass, steel, ceramics, or wood to store your foods. Buy fresh vegetables that don't need to be stored. And avoid, uh, it is interesting, avoid air fresheners. I did not know that. And avoid all plastics labeled number three, six, and seven. I've actually heard that in the past we've reported. Don't ask me why I'm not a industrial chemist, but three, six, and seven apparently is bad for plastics. Uh, let's see. Um, Health Day is recalling its Medtronic insulin pumps. We've mentioned that in the past. Uh, a lot of my patients are diabetic, and they wear these uh, pumps that pump insulin directly into their body uh, as needed. Um, and it's wonderful, but something happened where it wasn't delivering the right dose. So just call your uh, – your uh, endocrinologist to make sure your pump's not one of them recalled. Um, Star Ledger, uh, lead continues to be a problem. Uh, this is the Middletown uh, school system in their water. And this is interesting. Uh, Journal of American Medical Association, the pediatrics division, said that one, they reported one half of all the children in the U.S. had some level of lead. Now, this is true. Even though the majority, we test lead on everybody. Uh, according to the government rules, um, at one and two years old, and every year if, if in a risk led environment, which means a house built before 1978, which is likely to have lead paint, or anybody exposed to parents that work in lead environments, you know, whether it's gasoline or, or engines or, you know, car mechanics or anything like that, or lead in, in imported spices like some of the lead got into some of the spices from India and all. Um, but um, we frequently, frequently will see, mostly it's 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 less than one uh, or one, but sometimes we'll get a two or three, and, and I think they're right about that. Very seldom do we get anything that's four or above. And, in fact, they, they uh, the CDC reported that only 2.5%, um, like, uh, you know, one out of 50 or so, uh, is going to have above five. So, yeah, we really don't see that very often. Maybe a couple a year are high. So I, I agree with those numbers. Uh, moving on, uh, the DEA, you know, Department of Environmental uh, thing, the government um, is warning, uh, the agency, Department of Environmental Agency, is warning that fentanyl, um, you know, fentanyl, the pain medicine used in anesthesia that helps put you to sleep, it's uh, being sold in black market in all the pain meds, and it's leading to deaths. Fentanyl is very strong. Uh, the, it really is. And I, I can tell you, when I had my procedures and I, I get conscious sedation, they'll you, they'll put fentanyl in mixed with the um, uh, the other one that it's normally used. And the uh, you really feel dizzy, uh, and they only put a little in. So the, the fentanyl is very strong. Uh, let's see. Oh, also methamphetamines, along with the fentanyl, were in the black market payment. So you, you don't buy your stuff, you know. Buy it from a pain center or your doctor. Hey, don't buy things in the black market. You know, you, you don't know what you're getting. Okay, Fox says uh, some interesting tips on those of us that have young kids that need to put car seats in. I, I thought these were really interesting, so I included them. You know, I look for stuff like that for you guys. Um, weight limits. Uh, look at the weight limits for the lower anchor connections and the top straps. Uh, there's actually directions on how much the kid can weigh uh, as you fool with lowering these anchor straps and top straps. Uh, make sure nothing is on the seat below, like towels or cushions. The seat has to sit right on the car seat. 
Uh, stay rear-facing as long as possible and watch expirations. I thought those were interesting tips. Let's see. Medical Press says that um, – oh, I, I, I really like this one. Every once in a while, we get some real fun stuff. Uh, Monash University doctors uh, did a study where they found that just going out in the sun, getting natural sunlight, actually helped you sleep better and made you feel better, less depressed. Um Let's see, the American Academy of Pediatrics, I like this one. They did did a big thing on prevention of drowning. Uh, We did this uh, earlier in the summer, but it's worth repeating in case some of you uh, have indoor pools or still going on uh, holiday trips. They said, of course, all supervision should be at pools, life jackets, lifeguards, uh, swim at designated sites if you're by the beach. Try to get swimming lessons. If, you, if you're on your own pool, make sure it has a good fence and latch gates. Um, learn CPR. Have a defibrillator, which a lot of us forget. You may need to shock somebody if their heart stops. And uh, this is interesting. Remove toys from pools when there are no adults around because the toys, if left in the pool, may attract the kids. Who would have thought? I, I didn't think about that. And here's another one we frequently forget. For little toddlers, Empty water buckets in wading pools because, uh, you know, even if it's a water bucket or a pool or even a toilet, a toddler can get their head stuck and drown, and that's interesting. I, it's scary. It's something we forget. Okay, guys, just a few more. Uh, this is fun. I like to end with foods. I always have fun. Food net is one of my favorite, but there's also some stuff here from other, comp- other papers. So let's go with food net first. Excuse me. Um, you know, you know how we always talk about white foods and whether white foods are good enough for you, pasta, potatoes, white bread. And they said here, uh, white rice and food nets, uh, did a report with their nutritionist and they said, look, you can enrich it. If you use enriched flour and you add things to your pasta and potatoes and bread with meat, meat and vegetables, it can be just as good. So we used to be scared from eating white stuff. And for years, I've always stayed away from white stuff. We're all scared about it not being nutritious and heavy carbs. And FoodNet said, no, go for it. Just make sure it's enriched and you add a complete meal to go with it. Even white rice, they said, white rice, like brown rice, still has protein, vitamins, and iron. It just doesn't have as much fiber. So who would have known? I mean, I spent decades now avoiding anything white, and now they're saying it's okay. So who would have thought? Let's see, uh, this is kind of fun. Star Ledger did a rundown on foods that have uh, calcium, potassium, fiber, and vitamin D. You know, I, if you guys are like me, I'm always looking uh, to figure out which foods can increase my vitamins and minerals. And uh, and, and, and this is interesting. You, you may not have known this. Well, the first, with calcium, of course, you would have known yogurt and soy. But did you know there's calcium in spinach? And, of course, tofu, because tofu is soy. But how many of you knew there was calcium in spinach? A lot of us forget. Spinach is a great, great meal. Potassium. Uh, of course, we all know bananas. But how many of you, and, and potatoes is a great source. How many of you knew that lima beans and squash uh, and tuna? Um, so it's not it's not only bananas and potatoes that have potassium, avocados also. But uh, who would have known that lima beans, squash, and tuna? Uh, also have potassium. Excellent. Uh, fiber, of course, uh, wheat, we all know, and we all eat our beans and berries, but uh, they threw in popcorn. I thought that was kind of fun. Vitamin D, of course, we all look for salmon and tuna, uh, soy, yogurt, orange juice. I think you all probably knew that. All right, lastly, let's go to independent. Uh, this was interesting because we're talking about vitamins. Independent, they, they said that experts are saying we're not getting enough vitamin C. We should get at least 90 milligrams a day. Right now, I think less than 50 is recommended. And they remind us citrus, peppers, Brussels sprouts, potatoes, kimchi, strawberries, broccoli, and black currant have vitamin C. All right, you guys, uh, that wraps up another show. As always, I wish you a very healthy fall. Uh, thanking the Lord every day that the COVID deaths although they've been steady, are slowly getting uh, less, at least in in the Northeast and Jersey area. Uh, The rest of the country, some of it's still pretty scary. But you can't let your guard down. You know, we're still seeing it all around us. I'm still seeing it in the office. But 
thank the Lord it's getting better and we're hopefully going to be vaccinating more. I look forward. I hope you all have a healthy holiday season. Uh, uh, I don't know if I'll get another show in before Thanksgiving. If not, I wish you happy holidays. As always, uh, we welcome your feedback and we'll report on it next time. And you all be well and take care. Courageous doctors, pioneers and heroes. Executive producers Barry S. Price Toski, MD, and Patrick M. Marucki. Post production Patrick M. Marucki. Makeup by Lisa McAllister, Salon Jimmy Gerards. Music provided by Video Blocks. Special thanks to American Medical Association and New England Journal of Medicine. Visit us on the internet at courageousdoctors.com.